Race number five on the day belongs to number one, Malcolm Dream, Mark Dixon and Cole Dickon teaming up with his five-year-old daughter of Master of My Fate, who's now notched up career win number three at uh, the 14th time of asking. And uh, she had the run of the race and she's won quite convincingly. Well done to the winning groom, Patrick, who takes extremely good care of his horse and uh, he's duly rewarded today. Patrick, well done. Congratulations. Excellent stuff. Well done to uh, Patrick, the winning groom. Let's get uh, Mark Dixon in, the winning trainer. And yeah, this horse has uh, definitely done well of late. Mr. Dixon, very well done. You're obviously uh, confident that she's going to run a huge race during the week and uh, everything work out, worked out ideally for her. Yeah, no, it certainly appears that uh, Seven Furlong seems to be her best trip now. I mean, she, I, I thought she was a little bit handy during the race, but obviously Cole knows her very well now and she quick went really well when he, when he asked and I was very, very impressed with the way she won today and it's extra special because Kian often doesn't get the time to come racing, so with Kian, Mary and Gary all here for the win, makes it well worthwhile. She can go on from here, you think? Well, I hope so, you know, in the right company. They've always got a, a good winning chance. It's just a, a temperament's not the easiest. And uh, a fair play to Patrick O'Groom. He does a lot of hard work with her because at home and at the races, she's, she's a, she's a, she can be a bit of a nightmare. If you say so in the next? Yeah, well, it's not the greatest of maidens, is it? And uh, she's obviously a battling maiden, but I think so are the rest. So she's got to have a, a decent squeak. Well done, all the best going forward. No, no, thank you. Well done to uh, trainer Mark Dixon. Let's get uh, Cole Dickon in. And uh, yeah, this horse is quite temperamental, but uh, Cole, you get the best out of her. And uh, draw number one, everything worked out nicely. Oh, no, uh, definitely. I'm just happy the owners, yeah, they came with a bit of good luck. Uh, it was a little disappointing last time, but she proved herself today. And I really trusted her going into the race. I mean, I was looking at the form of her and on the last three runs. She had to win this race. So just happy Mr. D kept her at the peak of her, uh, like how she works. So I'm really happy. Do you think 1400 is the best trip? Yes, yes, I do actually. But, you know, she, she is flexible. She, she can't go 1600. So we, we have a, a bit of playroom with her. So, yeah. Excellent job. Well done going for all the best going forward. Uh, thank you. I'd like to say good luck to my sponsors winning form. To the Carlisles, congratulations and thank you for trusting me with their horses and to Mr. D for all the support he's given me. Thank you. Great stuff. Thank you. Sir. Well done to uh, Cole Dickon, uh, the winning rider. Let's get uh, Kian in and uh, Kian's one of the winning, winning owners here and uh, great to meet you and uh, wonderful to have you on course as well to lead in this individual. Yeah, great to be here. Uh, well done Mark and Haley and the Paul Dixon team. Uh, they're great uh, trainers. We really enjoy having our horses with them. Um, well done to Carl, uh, he's ridden a couple of winners for us now, which is great. Um, so yeah, great, very exciting. And uh, to everyone at home that was shouting for her, uh, all the kids, family, and also well done to mom and Gary. Hopefully she can uh, provide you guys with one or two more wins. All the best going forward. Thanks very much. Well done uh, to Kian, one of uh, the winning owners. Well done to uh, the Carlisle family that are involved with number one, Malcolm Dream. She's now a three-time winner. Well done to uh, Mark Dixon and Cole Dickon involved. Uh, Malcolm Dream, your winner of race number five.